Keeping as much money as possible in our wallets this holiday season, that's why many people are counting the days until Black Friday, the day known for big savings, right? But like so much else right now, the coronavirus has changed Black Friday, and you may save more money by buying now. With me now is shopping and money-saving expert Andrea Warrock. Warrock says she has the secret for separating the deals from the duds, which can save your hard-earned cash. Andrea, thanks so much for being here. Yes, thank you for having me. All right, let's jump right into Black Friday. You say part of knowing when to wait comes from reviewing those good old-fashioned circulars, and you say there's a modern way to do that as well. Explain. It Exactly. Well, first of all, before you even start shopping on Black Friday, whether you're going in store or online, you want to make sure that you are have your shopping list ready so you don't buy a bunch of things you don't need and don't let those sales influence your purchases. But also use an app like Flip where you can review all the local ads in one place to really plot out your shopping trip based on your shopping list. This way, you know who's offering what at the best price and you know when to go out and shop or when to shop online to score those deals. And I think seeing those two gives you a good idea of what a good price is, right? Because there's a lot of times you see sale, and then if you really know the product, you think to yourself, that's not really a sale. That's not really a good price. Exactly. If you start looking at prices before the sales start, that might help you just be a better shopper. Because sometimes, and I've seen this myself, retailers inflate that original deal to make that door buster or that sale price look like a better value. So don't forget that it is also really important to comparison shop. You can use tools like Price, Play, Price Blink or Popcart. You add them to your browser. They provide instant price comparison when you're shopping online. And this way, you can't get fooled by those fluctuating prices. And I also love Scently. This is a coupon tracker, essentially. You add it to your browser. And anytime you're shopping online, they'll let you know if there's a coupon available. And they'll also add it to your cart at checkout instantly so you don't have to do any legwork to find a coupon code that works. Now let's talk about store rewards, because those are out there too. They can really add up. So tell us more about those. Exactly. So first of all, look for those deals where you get a free gift card with your purchase. I noticed Target was offering a free $25 gift card when you purchase one of their select smartphones. Those types of deals can really help stretch your budget, because if you're buying that gift anyway, then you can get the free cash to buy some last minute gifts in December. You can also maximize rewards using your credit card. Look to see if there's any bonus deals by shopping at a certain retailer and then plan to buy your gifts there. Just make sure you check in to your online credit card account to opt in. Otherwise, you won't get those extra points automatically. And then when you're done shopping, take pictures of all your shopping receipts and upload them to a free cash back app like Fetch Rewards. This app provides you with points for all your receipts. And then you can redeem those points for free gift cards to stores like Target and Walmart or Amazon, which can come in really handy when you have to buy additional um, gifts at the end of the season or some last minute holiday holiday items for your, your celebration, or save them for stocking stuffers or even teacher gifts. All right, let's talk about free shipping because I know I am a sucker for free shipping, especially when I'm $5 away from, you know, buy this much and then you'll get free shipping. And I'm like, oh, I'll just add one more thing. Exactly. So free shipping offers are big. Retailers know people don't want to buy things online unless they get free shipping. So what they'll do is they'll offer you free shipping, but usually there's a catch. You have to spend a certain amount of money. Now, some might have low sh shipping thresholds to get that free delivery, maybe $25. Some are as high as $150. So if you're really close and you're only maybe $10 away from meeting that minimum, then sure, buy another item for $10. This way you get an extra gift or something for yourself and are not wasting money on shipping costs. But if you're $50 away from that threshold, spend the eight bucks for shipping. That's going to save you more in the long run. Otherwise, a lot of retailers are doing curbside and drive up, drive up pickup options. So maybe you can order online and then just choose to get the item from your local store if you have one nearby. That way you can avoid that shipping delivery altogether and also potentially avoid any shipping delays, which a lot of retailers and shipping carriers are speculating will happen this year because of the high rise in shopping activity online. Yeah, we've heard those warnings, and so I think people are starting to get afraid. Like, I definitely can't wait till the last minute to ship a gift. What's the best advice in terms of, of your timing to make sure it gets there on time? 
most people re recommend that you purchase your gifts by mid-December, around December 15th and the 19th is when we see those ground shipping deadlines for mass retailers. But here's the thing, we're gonna run into a lot of shipping delays. So you really don't wanna push it any further than the first week of December. If you can, buy all your gifts before December, have them ordered to ship directly, directly to your loved ones so then you don't have to then deal with the hassle of going to a shipping carrier. A lot of these sites will also offer gift wrap. It might be a small fee, but uh, and, and it'll help you out because then your loved ones will get those items. Now, if you are at the end of December, right before the holiday, and you still haven't gotten your gift to your loved one, another option is ordering a local pickup at the store in their town, asking another family member to pick it up, or you can order a driver through Postmates to pick it up and deliver it for you. That might be one way around those potential delays. See, we got to be very creative. I mean, it is 2020. That's what we're doing, right? Money exactly. saving guru. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Money saving guru Andrea Warrock. Thanks so much, Andrea. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you for having me.